So fast.com is actually one of those uh, online web applications that you can actually view statistics on your upload and download speed. We see this one here actually running here at my house, 660 download speed megabits per second. But what if you actually wanted to not only capture that like once or twice, but you wanted a way or a solution to continuously capture that in the background, maybe for a few hours if you're having a problem and you're just wondering if the bandwidth has an issue or actually if you just wanted it to run all day, then that's exactly what today's video is about. I'm going to demonstrate a script that I came up with using their CLI tool. I'm going to show you how to basically download that with one simple command and then just leverage the script that's built to uh, let this one run in the background. I'm going to show more info here. This again just provides the upload details and some statistics on where the location of that server that they were sending those imaginary files to to come up with these metrics. So this again, I have a Windows uh, PC here, but the only requirement is to have Node.js, preferably uh, 18 plus um, there. And it's really just one command, uh, npm install, and then a flag of G and fast CLI. That's the name of the application that's going to be installed. Here on this PC, I actually already have it, but it's going to, of course, go through the process of pulling down any of those packages there. And so we'll wait for that uh, before we go ahead and continue, but it should be pretty seamless on your end. And there we go. We got 37 packages there. And really to make sure that we have it, we'll just do fast dash dash help. And just make sure again, there's not a lot of options um, or flags that we can use here um, on this command, um, but there are just a few. But if we can see output similar to this, then you know that you've got it successfully installed. I'm actually going to work a little backwards here. I'm going to get this script uh, going in another window just so we can gather statistics. We saw there um, on the home page, it took, you know, a little bit over 30 seconds to pull the uh, download and then the uh, upload details there in the background. So I actually have that um, in, let's see, this folder here. And we're going to talk about that here shortly. And just to uh, kick that off, we'll just go ahead. That's the name of the script. Move this out of the way and bring it back over. But we got that script actually running. And now, again, if we just do the command of fast, that's actually how you run the program then it's going to basically you can see kind of faintly i got a little bit of opacity here um, that's 660 megabits per second the graphic if you just type in the fqdn um, we see this little widget here kind of a, a little visual there but it's going to shortly supply the same uh, details there this again by default is just going to provide the download speed and if we want to get details about the upload then we're going to have to use that uh, either dash U or double tack um, upload for uh, that uh, metric there. The JSON output, if we were to use that, it gives us more details about, um, you know, that server, what our public IP address is and things like that. But you can see how long this is taking the run. Like I said, I think it's give or take five seconds, about, you know, 30 ish seconds. So when we think about or consider the interval of how often we should run the script, if we do something too low, then we're probably going to miss um, some steady beats there. And then we'll quickly do uh, the uh, upload again, just to see that it's going to be very similar, but it's going to provide the statistics or the metrics there. And while that's running, we're going to pull this back over. We're going to very, very shortly um, bring over the script to go over it. But this again is the output. It's basically we'll see what flags we have and why it's writing uh, similar to this. But this is outputting uh, to the CLI or to our um, output stream, which is the window here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that script. Again, we see the upload uh, statistics should pop up there very shortly. And it's it's calculating kind of like it would over here, uh, but we can see that this again is the script. This is just a preview without double clicking it. The exact same thing 
And what we have here is really just um, the location. Uh, you saw me navigate our uh, CD, change directories there, and the name, of course, of what we want that file to be. And then we have um, the function here. And we see that we're running the fast uh, double tack upload, double tack uh, JSON to basically output this right here. And then we really have some variables there for different things download speed timestamp etc and it's this right dash output and then that variable for of course the output that's going to display it on the screen and then of course this line right here is going to basically write it to the output file and that dash of pen is very important there and then we're going to loop that and currently set to run every 45 seconds but that interval uh, can be changed to your liking all right, so now if we go ahead and I'm actually going to stop this and then we're going to open this. And we can see again, I the first day that I ran this, I actually left this running overnight and really is over 12 hours. I wanted to see if it had any issues, crashed, etc., but it continued to run. I won't wow. I guess you could say flawlessly throughout the morning um, until I stopped it. So I think again, this is pretty sweet. And we've come all the way down here today again earlier, just making sure that it still ran. But this isn't going to override it. That dash of pin is actually just going to drop um, those new times down here to the tail end. So again, if you just want something short, sweet and simple that continuously loops over and takes the statistics um, for whatever your use case is and then this file size is not even a mag yet a uh, very small then this definitely definitely uh, is something that you should consider or look into but if you got any questions then just hit me up down below in the comments but again hopefully this is very sweet very simple and i'll drop the link to these files for you and if you got any questions like i said uh, hit me up but until next time stay safe take care of yourselves peace